Welcome to the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies North American Trapper Education video series. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate common water sets with foothold traps. We always encourage you to select traps that meet BMP standards. Also, always check state and local trapping regulations before setting any capture device. Some of the sets that we demonstrate in this video may not be allowed in your area. In this video, we're going to talk about making water sets using foothold traps. The definition of a water set varies from state to state, but in general refers to traps that are set in or on the water. Traps may be partially or fully submerged or be exposed. There are many types of water sets that can be made using foothold traps. But in today's video, we're going to cover caster mound or a baited set for beaver, a crossover or toilet set for otter, a pocket set for mink, muskrat, or raccoon, and then a floating or baited pole set for muskrat. Obviously, before we make any type of set, we need to know that the species we are targeting are using the area. Look for tracks, scats, and evidence of feeding. Also look for slides and haul out spots, runways, feeding sites, latrines, dams, and denning sites. Finding these areas will help direct you where to make your sets. The second thing that we want to consider before making any set is the safety to ourselves and any non-target animals. For example, if the beaver season is open but otter season is closed, you want to make sure your sets are set in such a way as to avoid catching otter. Similarly, it is always unlawful to catch waterfowl in your traps. It is your responsibility as a trapper to make sure the traps you set will not inadvertently catch a bird or other non-target animal. With any foothold set, we want to make sure that the trap is bedded well so it doesn't rock or slip under the animal's foot. We also want to make sure that it is anchored so that it can handle the largest possible animal that could be caught. We use a variety of anchoring systems for foothold traps in water sets. When making water sets for fur bears, we generally make what are called submersion sets. The trap is set in a way that when the animal steps in it, they are able to travel down deeper into the water, but are not able to come back into the shallower water or to reach the surface. The animal dies quickly by being submerged under the water due to oxygen deprivation. The first set we will make is a caster mound set for beaver. We chose this spot because we know beaver are using this location to move in and out of the water to feed up on the land. Caster mound sets are particularly effective in the late winter and early spring during the beaver's mating season. At other times of the year, we could replace the caster mound with some partially peeled aspen or willow sticks to make this a baited set. We are going to anchor this trap with a slide wire or cable. The trap is attached to the cable with a one-way slide. When the beaver is caught, it will swim down the submersion wire, but will be unable to return to the surface. Now let's make a crossover set for otter. This trap set is very similar to the beaver set that we just made, but it is made where an otter is moving in or out of the water. This often occurs at beaver dams or other obstructions in the water, or it could be where otters are coming out of the water to use what's called a toilet or latrine. By changing the trap and the trap placement, this type of set can be modified for most semi-aquatic species. Muskrat and mink are often caught in the same types of sets. The only difference often is with the type of bait or lure, if any, that is used. Let's make a pocket set for mink or muskrat. This set works best along cut banks that a mink or muskrat might swim along. You can use a natural pocket if you can find one, but often it's easier to just make your own. Dig a small hole into the bank at the water level, large enough to accommodate your trap. 
with room above the water surface behind it for bait. When set, you want the top of the trap to sit about a half inch under the water surface. If the set is baited with a carrot or potato, it will be attractive to muskrat. Mink are gonna look for a meat-based bait like muskrat or fish. Make sure the weight of the trap is sufficient enough to hold the mink or muskrat under the water surface after a catch. It's only necessary to make sure the anchoring wire is long enough for them to reach deep enough water for them to be completely submerged. The last set that we're gonna be making today is a floating set for muskrats. This set can be made in areas of shallow or deep water where muskrats are feeding. The trap is set on a floating platform that allows the trap to rise and fall with the changing water levels. Because the trap is exposed, it is important to have a covering over the top to avoid possibly catching inadvertent catch like birds, waterfowl that might use this as a roosting platform. If the water level will be stable while traps are set, you can use a trap affixed to a pole in much the same way as these floating platforms. Always remember to record and mark all of your set locations. We hope you learned a thing or two about trapping in the water with foothold traps, and we encourage you to check out all of the videos in the North American Trapper Education Video Library.